Hey guys, Inferno here and today we are in Unreal Engine 5 and I'm going to show you how to add a flashlight to your assault rifle or pretty much any weapon and how to have a toggle feature to turn it on and off so let me show you how to do it so to, to start with I am in the Unreal Engine FPS template and from here we need to go to content browser and our first person character blueprint now all I've done here is I've added the idle animation to our first person mesh and then to that mesh I've added our weapon because we're going to be attaching the flashlight to this weapon so once you are at this stage because you're going to be if you're building an FPS game or anything of that sort so w once you're in this state what you're going to do is select your weapon mesh make sure you have this selected and then click add and then we're going to search for spotlight I'll rename this flashlight And this flashlight, this spotlight is going to be our flashlight. So I'm just going to position this in a way of my liking. And I'm going to make the flashlight face where our weapon is facing, like face the same direction. So rotate this. Um, I'm happy with it and compile so just like that the flashlight is attached to our weapon now i'm going to go to light and increase the intensity so that it's more visible 10,000 compile save and we're going to go back to the default map hit play and let's see if the flashlight is added and there you go we now have a flashlight added to our weapon now how do we toggle this on and off? Like how do we add the feature? To do that we're going to go to input. We're going to go to action and we're going to add a new input action. So input, first right click and then input, input action and we're gonna call this IA for input action. Flashlight. And then go back to input now we're going to assign a keybind for the input action in our input mapping context and then go to mapping add new input action which is our flashlight like you add it from the drop down menu and then we're going to assign a keybind to assign the keybind click here and then assign whatever keybind you want i'm just going to assign f and save and now this flashlight is added to a keybind now to to be able to toggle this on and off we, ha we need to write down the functionality to do that we're going to go to our character blueprint and then we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to event graph and we're gonna call the input action that we just made which is flashlight and then I'm gonna just gonna zoom in. We're gonna stretch the trigger, like pull it, and we're gonna call flip flop, which is gonna allow us to transition or go between two stages. And we're gonna call our flashlight variable, uh, not variable component. We're gonna we're gonna get our flashlight component. So get flashlight. And from here, we're gonna stretch this. And we're going to set the visibility for our flashlight. So set visibility. And because there's going to be two stages of visibility, lit and unlit, we're going to duplicate this. So have this selected in Control D to duplicate. And make sure the node is connected to the target because the target is going to refer to our flashlight. And then we're just going to connect node A to the first one and B to the second one. 
So when it's so when we hit the trigger once, it's gonna connect to A, and we're gonna set the visibility to true. And then when it's triggered again, it's gonna go to B, where the visibility is going to stay false. Now to wrap things up, we're gonna choose flashlight, like click on it, and make sure the uh, visibility by default, which is going to be under rendering, is set to false. Once all that is done, we compile, save and our flashlight should be good to go so I'm just going to run to the dark corner and we are here now and I'm going to press F and there we go we have our flashlight and press F again to turn it off and it's that easy guys I hope you learned something useful today I hope <laughs> this video was useful in some way and if you did find it useful or interesting then do consider liking and subscribing and leave a comment if you wish I have gotten into Unreal Engine 5 recently and I've been having a lot of fun with it teaching myself a lot of new stuff and I am going to be posting more content and tutorials regarding stuff like this so yeah have a great day guys and I hope to see you in my next video peace out